All right, well, I turned this uh, three volt bug zapper circuit into a Tesla coil, which is what I originally wanted to do before I got off on the uh, electrostatic Franklin Bell experiment. And uh, there's a lot of videos on how to do this, and that's why I'm doing it, is that other people have done it and they have great videos on how to convert one of these electronic bug swatters into a, a full blown Tesla coil. It's a pulsing Tesla coil. But it's it is uh, like a traditional Tesla coil, and uh, this is the quick and dirty setup that I did here, and all it is is a uh, clip lead around the bottom of a coil that I already had made for the Slayer Exciter experiments, and it just wraps around the bottom of the coil. You take the plug zapper, you go through a spark gap, and I'm just using a couple of nails. And you go around here, and you connect the bottom of the long coil, the uh, secondary, to the, the um, bug zapper uh, spark gap. The other end of the, the um, clip lead goes to the other side of the bug zapper and then an earth ground. And you've got to have an earth ground for this really to work correctly. You can connect it to a water pipe. I have a stake in the ground outside. but. Uh, anyway, today is the uh, 16th of November 2013, and this is my rendition of the uh, Bug Zapper Tesla coil driven by 3 volts, a couple of AA batteries, and that's all it is right there. And like I say, it's a 3 volt electronic uh, bug swatter that goes through a little spark gap right there, so a little uh, couple of nails, and then a clip lead just a plain old clip lead wrapped around the bottom of this coil that I had already made for the uh, Slayer Exciter experiment. It's three or four hundred turns of about uh, 26 gauge wire, magnet wire. And then the other side of the clip lead goes to the earth ground and then the other side of the spark uh, maker, the uh, bug zapper. This is the capacitor right here it's in a normal Tesla coil circuit. I'm just using the one that's in the bug zapper right here. And of course there's the uh, spark gap that you'll find in all the old Tesla coil um, circuit diagrams. Uh, as far as wiring up the uh, two coils, trial and error it. That's what I did. If it didn't work one way, you just switch the, the sides of the uh, secondary around the clip lead and go the other way and sure enough it will fire up for you. And the high voltage comes out the top here. This is my condiment cup uh, top load. The uh, uh, secondary wire goes up inside there, just touches it. Then I got a little screw on the top for the uh, breakout point. Of course, it's not enough voltage to have a corona discharge, but uh, plasma discharge, but it, it looks cool. <laughs> and uh, that's how it looks right there, just condiment cup with the wire up inside. And it does the traditional things. I'm going to show it lighting up this uh, LED remotely off that pickup. Uh, here's a uh, neon bulb, here's a fluorescent bulb and another fluorescent. And let's fire it up here. And there's a little spark gap going off. And there's that going off over there. Here's my little neon bulb. You can probably see the, the discharge there. Here's off the breakout point. It's about three quarters of an inch. I mean, it's nothing to write home about. And like I say, there's no um, spectacular Tesla coil photographs going to be made here. But it's pretty cool. You know, I, I think this is a pretty neat thing to, to have made with just a three volt, uh, three volt power source. And like I say, there's a bunch of uh, videos uh, on YouTube of uh, people doing this, and it's been done many times before. And there's some real good ones on how to make a, a real good display version of this. But uh, this was my quick and dirty version right here. That uh, took about 20-30 minutes to do that because I already had this coil and it's just a case of uh, wiring it up uh, very very easy to make 
Anyway, that's the uh, three volt bug zapper Tesla coil. Hope uh, hope some people make these. It's fairly safe. Uh, I've gotten shocked enough times to realize that uh, there's nothing that's really dangerous about this particular setup. Uh, this could be made by people of all ages. Just use some some caution on it because you will get shocked if you're not careful. But it's not um, super dangerous. Thanks for watching.